Russia showcased the complete Sturm heavy robotic assault system for the first time, marking a significant step in the country's unmanned armored vehicle development. The trial, reported by Andre underscore BT via Telegram, featured a coordinated operation of unmanned combat vehicles alongside their specialized command unit. Developed by Eurovagonzavod, UVZ, under contract from the Russian Ministry of Defense, this system leverages modified T-72 and T-90 tank platforms as its foundation. However, footage revealed that some tanks were still crewed, signaling that fully autonomous or remote control operations have not yet been fully achieved. The demonstration took place at UVZ's main industrial grounds in Nizhny Tagil, near the Ural Design Bureau of Transport Engineering, UKBTM. The vehicles moved within a secured internal area rather than an open test range, with satellite imagery confirming at least two additional Sturm vehicles staged nearby. These tanks displayed consistent urban camouflage, distinct turret designs, and compact armaments that do not extend beyond the hull, emphasizing their tailored role for dense city combat scenarios. Unlike standard T-72 or T-90 models, the Sturm series has been re-engineered specifically for urban warfare. Notable modifications include a front-mounted bulldozer blade designed to clear debris and obstacles, and a shortened 125mm D-414 smoothbore cannon optimized to avoid barrel overhang and allow unrestricted turret rotation in narrow environments. The turret itself is a compact, modular design that can be outfitted with different weapon systems such as rocket flamethrowers or twin 30mm cannons. The camouflage pattern reflects the vehicle's focus on urban concealment and close quarters battle. The core combat vehicle, Combat Vehicle No. 1, is built on T-72 or T-90 chassis and equipped with a 125mm gun featuring a 4000mm barrel length and an autoloader capable of holding 22 rounds. It retains a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and is also fitted with the bulldozer blade. The turret can rotate a full 360 degrees, a feature enhancing maneuverability within tight urban confines. A larger caliber 152mm variant is reportedly under development. The platform largely repurposes older T-72A hulls from Russia's extensive stockpiles, which helps reduce production costs but may limit sensor and electronic modernization. Additional variants under the Sturm program expand tactical flexibility. Combat Vehicle No. 2 mounts RPO-2 Schmel-M thermobaric flamethrowers alongside a PKTM machine gun, Combat Vehicle No. 3 combines twin 30mm automatic cannons with the flamethrower launcher, and Combat Vehicle No. 4 is armed with 16 unguided 220mm thermobaric rockets, similar to those fired by the TOS-1A system, for area saturation. All variants include bulldozer blades and enhanced armor engineered to withstand multiple hits from anti-tank grenades and mines, reflecting the anticipated urban threats they will face. Notably, while the vehicles are designed for unmanned or optionally crewed operation, current tests still rely on human crews, showing that remote or autonomous control is not yet fully realized. The project also unveiled a mobile command post vehicle based on modified T-72 or T-90 chassis, armored for all-around protection. This unit acts as the central hub to manage and coordinate operations across a platoon of up to 50 unmanned tanks within a 3-kilometer radius. This centralization contrasts with earlier Russian robotic platforms like the Uran-9, which suffered from communication and targeting reliability issues in combat deployments. The Sturm command system reportedly utilizes communication networks adapted from the more advanced T-14 Armada and T-90M tanks. Nevertheless, critics continue to highlight shortcomings in Russia's sensor technologies and data transmission capabilities. The system's sensor suite integrates ultrasonic, infrared, and visible spectrum devices, with AI-assisted features intended for autonomous navigation, target detection, and environmental mapping though real-world demonstrations of these capabilities remain limited. Originally revealed in 2018 by UVZ director Alexander Potapov at the ADX Defense Exhibition, the Sturm concept traces back to Soviet-era projects from the 1980s that were never completed due to technological constraints. The renewed development effort focused on upgrading T-72B3 tanks with modernized weaponry, armor, 
and engine systems. Prototype testing was underway by 2018, and the program has since expanded to include fire support vehicles akin to the Terminator family, armed with robotic-controlled 30mm cannons and thermobaric weapons instead of traditional anti-tank missiles. Recent Russian military reports link the program's acceleration to battlefield experiences in Ukraine, where robotic and semi-autonomous vehicles are increasingly integrated into combined arms formations. The AI and autonomous subsystems incorporated into the Sturm project draw on advanced fire control and sensor technologies first developed for the T-90M and T-14 Armada. The system aims to reduce crew workload by enabling semi-autonomous target recognition and engagement through neural networks and multi-layer sensor arrays. Capabilities like route planning, convoy movement, and obstacle navigation are designed to function with minimal human input. Despite these advancements, several defense analysts and military bloggers remain skeptical, viewing the project as an adaptation of older ideas rather than a breakthrough in unmanned combat vehicle technology. Persistent use of basic radios such as Baofeng models underscores ongoing communications limitations. Interestingly, Russia has experimented with robotic control on captured Ukrainian T-72 AMT tanks, codenamed Vazia, using first-person view, FPV, style remote operation. This has fueled internal debate about future procurement strategies and the role of robotic systems on the battlefield. Military expert Yuri Nutov has advocated for deploying robotic tanks in small, carousel, formations of three vehicles to mitigate vulnerabilities against anti-tank guided weapons, arguing that these systems can reduce risk to personnel when employed cautiously. In sum, the Sturm represents Russia's evolving effort to integrate robotic armored vehicles into urban combat roles, balancing legacy tank platforms with new technologies in AI, sensors, and remote command. While promising on paper, the program's operational maturity and true autonomous capabilities remain under scrutiny amid broader challenges in Russian military modernization.